The only thing movies have to fear is fear itself. It's time for Cool Weird Awesome, a show that would probably make a great movie. I'm Brady. It's Monday, January 30th. Today in 1882, the birthday of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He wound up being America's longest serving president. But at one point, FDR had a very different destiny in mind for himself. He wanted to write screenplays for movies. Motion pictures and presidents have been connected for a long time. President Ronald Reagan was a movie star before he got into politics. And plenty of modern presidents have been movie buffs. Jimmy Carter reportedly watched two to three movies a week while he was in the White House. But FDR didn't necessarily want to star in them or just watch them. His dream was to write a movie. This was in 1923. Roosevelt was almost a decade away from being elected president, but he had already run an unsuccessful campaign for VP, and he'd served as Assistant Secretary of the Navy. The story goes that Roosevelt used his naval experience to write a screenplay about the life of the American Revolution's naval hero, John Paul Jones. He then sent his proposal to Paramount Pictures, and that created a conundrum for studio co-founder Adolf Zukor. He wasn't interested in filming the screenplay, but he also didn't want to upset the well-connected Roosevelt. So he told one of his staffers to go to FDR and, quote, let him down easy. FDR eventually took the hint, but when he bumped into that same staffer years later as president, he said the rejection was one of the toughest setbacks of his life. He'd really wanted to be a writer. And then it was during his presidency that he got to be a writer and eventually for movies. Roosevelt also loved mystery novels. He was once complaining to a magazine editor that most mystery stories were based on the same premise. He had a different premise in mind. A guy who was stuck in a dead-end job and a by-the-book marriage decides to disappear with $5 million and start over. The magazine editor took the president's idea and gave it to a group of well-known mystery writers. They each wrote a chapter in a serialized story known as The President's Mystery Story. And in 1936, it came to the big screen under the name The President's Mystery. And yes, the credits at the start of the movie read, Story Conceived by Franklin D. Roosevelt. You can learn more about FDR and his screenwriting career at CoolWeirdAwesome.com. And coming up, a story I hope gets turned into a movie someday. That's after this. Cool Weird Awesome is listener-powered thanks to our backers on Patreon. For just a dollar a month, you'll get loads of extras, including more episodes of the show, previews of upcoming episodes, and the chance to add their own messages to the show. Backing us would be cool. Backing us would be awesome. Backing us will never be weird. Visit patreon.com slash Brady Carlson. And thanks. Welcome back. Today in 1951, the birthday of musician Phil Collins. Back in 2019, a church in Mexico got a lot of attention. It had commissioned and then installed a statue that was supposed to look like baby Jesus, but actually just looked like Phil Collins. I'm Brady. Take a look at me now. Thanks for listening and come back again tomorrow for more Cool Weird Awesome. Another helpful Brady Carlson project.